Okay, in this video, I'm just going to show you real quick how you can use isometric um, graph paper. Last video, I showed you how to create a template of the isometric grid paper. Now we're actually going to use it. I would recommend kind of zooming in on an area, um, picking a color. It doesn't really matter what you're using. I'll pick red just so it stands out. Uh, try to land right on a corner and then hold, hold that until that little zoom um, area pops up and then you can drop it kind of right on those boxes. So you can see I've counted up one, two, three, four boxes in height. I can come down here and I can grab another one, swing it over. And in this one, I'm one, two, three, four boxes in length. Go up. come up one two boxes and then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to keep drawing away now if you get to an area like that that doesn't look good just erase it and try to get yourself back on the line because you do want this to kind of snap, snap in place here. There we go. So you can kind of see I would complete my shape, moving around it until it was exactly or pretty darn close to what you want it to be. So there's how you would make an isometric shape using the Notability template.